in this, as I encourage you, I'm encouraging myself as it relates to giving to the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 3 here, Solomon talking with his son, and as he this is still relevant for us today, let's look at verse number number four and read down. Look at verse number five, look at number five, chapter three, Proverbs number five. He says this, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. That's right, amen, hallelujah. Lean not unto thine own understanding. So there's a place that we can trust in the law. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And where clearly we can see that there's an option there. We can choose to trust in the Lord and lean on his understanding. Or we can trust in ourselves or trust in our uh, whatever it is and lean on our own understanding. So we have a choice to make here. Now look at verse 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him. Him. And he shall, come on, direct your path. Amen. So he, here it is. We, we trust him. We're leaning on him. And as we do that now, he's He's ordering our step. So there will be no misstep. You know, misstep can be very devastating. We can have one misstep that take us so far. You know, it's interesting in flying. I'm not a pilot, but I, 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 I think someday I would like to be. <laughs> but that's a lot of training. Anyhow, anyhow but uh, that's really not my big thing. I'm, I'm, anyhow, but... Um, I enjoy flying. But they told me in an airplane that as they fly, the airplane is making, it's constantly making adjustment. And one miscalculation can take them way off course that they end up in a completely different part of the world. One little bit. And so it is even in life. One misstep. Yes. But now we have the Father, we have the Holy Spirit Amen. leading us yes. so there can be no misstep. Hallelujah. Because he said, he will direct our path. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But we have to trust him. He will direct our path. He said, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. Verse 8, it shall, it shall, the tongue of the word, now shall be held to thy neighbor and model to thy bone. Look at verse number 9. That's where we're going to get to. Verse number 9 said, honor the Lord with your substance. Okay. And with all, with, excuse me, and with the first fruits of all that increase. Amen. Amen. Look at what it said in the Amplify here. Honor the Lord Jesus. with your wealth yes. and with the first fruits of all your crops. Thank you, Jesus. Now, obviously, we're not. It mean, you might have uh, people that are still doing farming, but, but, but that's not. We, we have different jobs that we work today. Yes. Back in the, the, the Bible days, they were. That was the main source of, of income, farming. And so that's why he talked about, he said, wealth, honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of your crops. We honor him with our wealth. We honor him with our, with our, our time. We honor him with, with everything that we have. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Because remember, oh, yeah. he talked about Ordering your steps, directing your steps, directing your path. Thank you, Jesus. That's what we can expect as we do this. As we do this. Praise God. Amen. So, Hallelujah. 
We believe in tithes. We believe in offering. And that's what we practice. Praise God. And that's what we teach God's people because everything belongs to him. And so as we honor him with everything that we have, now he in turn bless us with more. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. With more. Hallelujah. But you see, if you, if, if you and I, if, if we hold back, one of the things I want, I want to say to the saints is when God asks us to give, He's not trying to take from us. He's trying to get to us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. For, said, Pastor, how is that? For instance, if you have, if I have this in my hand and I want to receive something, now this, this is a really, really, really to the point example. I must first give this away so I can make room to receive what's coming. Oh, he, he, he's an important point I want to make. This is not what I'm going to make. I'm going to, I'm going to pray over our, our offering and our, and our time. This is an important point. The same opening that you make, this is so important. I don't know if we're not going to go into the scripture, but we, we will from time to time show you. The same opening, if I make an opening this big, that's how much I'm going to receive back. Amen. So Amen. If, if I want a big blessing. Amen. Then, all right, let's use crops. Awesome. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a cat. You're giving, write this down, your giving increases your capacity to receive. Amen. Well, that's a good thing to write down yes. right there because yes. I'm telling you, Amen. your get my giving, our giving yes. increases our capacity to receive. Amen. Because if you don't have an opening, if you don't have a portal, how can you not receive? Yes. If there is no water line coming into this building, then there can be no water coming into the building. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's our giving that make, let, here's our version of it, it's our giving that make way for our receiving. Yes. Oh, man, that's so good right there. Yeah, Don't let me shout out by myself now. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's so good. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes. Praise God. Let me pray. Let's go. Oh, what you're giving in mind. What you would desire to give. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And let's pray. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, we thank you for the giving thank you, Jesus. of the people. Thank you, Jesus. You said with the measure that we make, it shall be measured to us again. Oh, yes. Thank you. Press down, yes. shaken to get me. Amen. Shall men give in our bosom yes, in Jesus' precious name? Amen. If you agree with that prayer, can you say amen? Amen. 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 Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. All right. Well, uh, online you can give uh, the information, you put the information on the screen for those who are online. Amen. You can, you know the different ways you can give here in the worship center here. You also can give uh, via those avenues, the those avenues as well. Of course, you're here, you can give um, uh, here in person or you can go uh, electronic if you want to do that as well. Praise the Lord.
The Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just give the Lord a big hand for that. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And we want to say happy birthday to all our partners we have here. Of course, we know our first lady. Uh, those of you uh, didn't know, <laughs> I don't know she get a lot of big on Facebook and things like that. But first lady celebrated her birthday. Amen. Um, just this um, Tuesday. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And she said she's celebrating all month. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can uh, cover her with the gifts or whatever yes. words yes. they want to do, whatever it is. Thank and then we have, praise God, uh, one of our uh, partner here, uh, Hallelujah. This is the now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're celebrating her birthday as well. Amen. We want to say happy Jesus. birthday to her. Amen. And all Amen. the other partners that celebrated their Thank birthday you, this month, we don't want to leave no one out. You, happy birthday to you as well. Amen. Praise God. All right. Well, I think you already said, you already give and ever, and you can always give you God for the service. It doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. Well, let's get into the Word of God right now. Let's uh, praise God, pray, and uh, let's get into the Word. Let's pray and believe God with me. My Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. we come before your Word this morning and we come expectantly to receive from you. We thank you that you will speak Think through my mind. You will speak through my lips. Yes, thank, you, Jesus. thank you that revelation knowledge will flow freely. Hallelujah. Thank you for ideas and concepts. Thank, thank you for witty invention. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that I will speak this word with boldness, excellence, and accuracy. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God, that this word will go forth unhindered and unchecked by any satanic or demonic force. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let all God's people give him a great big. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Well, we'll be talking to you this morning. We've been on this uh, teaching and, 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 and preaching here in a lesson that we have. We're talking about repossessing the kingdom, and we're over in an era where we're calling occupying. Till he come, occupy him till he come. So we're here, and let's just read some of our foundation scripture as we get into the lesson this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So go with me to, to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, please. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6. Read 10 and 20. Ten.
10 and verse 33, please. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6. 10 and 33, please. 10 and 33. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now look at verse 33 with me. Verse 33, please. Verse 33, he said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now let's look at that in the Amplified Chesters. But first and most importantly, seek, aim at, thrive after his kingdom and his righteousness, and watch this, his way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God. Oh, yeah. And all these things will be given you also. Mm -hmm. So you notice he said, first mm -hmm. and most importantly. Mm -hmm. First and most importantly. I believe we want to we're gonna come back to that because I think the Holy Spirit wanna to, wanna to speak something to that in our spirit before we yes. go this morning. Well, let's go on to Luke's Gospel and chapter. Let's go to Luke's Gospel, chapter 17. Praise God. Luke's Amen. Gospel. Let's look at Mark first. Let's go to Mark's Gospel. Since Mark is called Matthew Mark, let's go to Mark first and then we'll go over to Luke. Okay? Let's go to Mark and then we'll go to Luke. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1. Look at that with me. Verses 20, excuse me, verses 14 and 15, please. Mark's Gospel. Hallelujah. 14 and 15. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Change your thinking. Change your thinking. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's go to Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, 20 and 21. Luke's Gospel and 17, please. Mm -hmm. Luke's Gospel 17. Hallelujah. 20 and 21. 20 and 21. 20 and 21. And when he was the demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come. He answered and said unto them, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Look at verse 21. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. For the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. Yes, Jesus. Now, let's go to... to oh, Go to Genesis chapter 1, please. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Let's just look at that really quick. Genesis chapter 1. We'll look at verse number 11. <clears throat> verse number 11. And he said, excuse me, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, mm -hmm. and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his who seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. No, I want to underline that word bring forth. That word bring forth means to produce. Yes. To produce. We're talking about occupying now. Mm -hmm. Produce. So you and I, we said last week that we are producers. Yeah. Right. We are producers. So just as our God created all of this, mm -hmm. so now He wants us. Being partners with him to produce. Yes. And and that will look different to other people because we have different call and purpose in our lives. But we all call. Like I said, we all of us supposed to tell somebody. And it's always good. Like like, like, like you just you, you 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 brought your daughter with you last week. That's how it is. We, we always start with our family. Yes. We take them. 
Yes. I mean, if you get if you if you find a fine dying restaurant, <laughs> glory to God, you don't. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, let's go to this restaurant. Hey, because they're serving some good food up there. Yes. So that's what it is. Hey, man, you want to come with me to church? Because I tell you, you you come to our church, I guarantee you, you're gonna want to come back. Amen. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. I know pastor is serving yes. some good stuff up there. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, can we say amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let's look at chapter, let the same chapter one, but look, look at verse 26 or 28. And God said, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the year, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And so God created man in his image. Excuse me, in his own image, in the image of God created he, he male and female created he them. Verse 28. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the year, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Have <coughs> dominion. Mm -hmm. That yeah. word dominion means rulership. Mm -hmm. That word dominion mean, uh, speaks of ownership. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now let's go back over into Matthew's gospel now and begin to look at some things. So the first point I want to make with us this morning as we look at this whole idea of occupying till he come. So we all have a part to play in yes. this. Amen. Come on, to, come on, touch your neighbor and say, I have a part to play I in have this. A part to play. Come on. So now we want to talk about yes, to play. To play. why should you work? Amen. Amen. Why should you remember last week we talked about the working at another, another level? level. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is a low level yes. to work, but there's a high level to work. You yes. said, Pastor, how do we get there? We first have to begin to think differently. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. You said, how so, Pastor? What do you think? Yeah. I mean, think God thoughts. Think yes. high thoughts. Mm -hmm. Think that you can do. Yes. Think that you're a can-do person. Yes. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. So the first point we want to make this morning is, why should I work? We go in, in Genesis to talk about, I know God created. He said, be fruitful. Yes. Multiply. Yes. This is all work. Yes, yes, yes. If you're going to be fruitful, if you're going to multiply, if you're going to replenish, <coughs> replenish, we're talking about to restock. Mm -hmm. yes. You think about a, a, you, you go to a grocery store and, and every time people come and take things off the shelf, that, that shelf needs to be restocked. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there are things that we, we need to replenish. Hallelujah. But it's strong with our fault. Yes, thank you, Jesus. So, so come on, sister. So, so the work is good. Work is, work is good. Now, the work that we're talking about that's good is a sweatless work. Amen. Yes, amen. Remember? We yes. talk about work, working on a level where you're sweating. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring you the evidence of that real quick here. Working on level. So now let's look at what, why we why we should work. Why we should work. Let's go back to Genesis real quick and look at this with me. Genesis chapter chapter two, look at fifteen. Chapter two and look at fifteen real, Jesus. real quick. Chapter two. Come on, it's evidence. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. The pastor has given us evidence. Come on. Has given us evidence. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Now. Look at number 15, chapter 2. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What it says. And the Lord God, talking about Father God, yes, took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Remember when we look at that in the Amplified? Let's look at that again really quick in the Amplified. We look at that and say, what, what, what did he say? Really like the glory to God. I want to give you the amplified classic here. Uh, okay, glory to God. All right, all right. Okay, uh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And the Lord God took the 
man and put him into the garden to tend and to guard and to keep. Yes. To keep. Hallelujah. And we talk about it last week. To keep. If I give you the Bible and said keep this Bible, now it becomes yours. yours. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's yours. Yes. So now there is a level of ownership now that is passed on to us from Father God. Mm -hmm. So that make us now joined ears. That make us now a co-laborers. That make us now partners. Amen. That's why I like using the word partners when you come out of the church instead of saying members. Because you, we, 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 we have something to do here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're, we're impacting this community. We're not just here to sing and no, no, no. We're changing things. Amen. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he said, keep it. Yes. Occupy. Now, no, look, look at this. Look, 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 look. Why should we work? So we're talking about this sweat, this work. Well, let, let me show you the Ephesians. Go to Ephesians 4. So you said Ephesians 4. Go here go quickly with me. So, the, so now he put man in the garden. He put him there to, 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 to take care of it. Ephesians 4. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ephesians 4. Look at what he said in verse number, number 28. Number 28. What he said. Let him that stole see no more, but rather let him labor working with his own hands. Watch this. Put it in the thing which is good mm -hmm. that he may yes. have to give to him that needed it. Now, this is important. So work is good. So now, one part of us working is so that we may have to give. Mm -hmm. You say, how is that, Pastor? Because if you don't work the gift, yes. the gift is going to come down. Yes. And you can't, you're not going to have anything to give. Yes. But the more you work it, come on. You don't understand? What, like a well, the more you pump water from the well, is the more it's going to spring up. Oh, can you say amen? Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So I'm going to work my gift. Come on, yes. say, I'm going to work my gift. Yes. Come on, say, I'm going to work my gift. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's no time to sit around idle now. Work that gift. Amen. Hallelujah. If you work it, it's going to work. If you work it, it will work. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. There's no such thing as a gift that doesn't work. Because God gives it to you, it works. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. This is so good this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. No, let's, let's go on our next point. Shed, shed sweatless work. Sweatless work. You know what he said over here in Proverbs? Look at it in Proverbs. What he said in Proverbs 10. Look at Proverbs 10 with me really quick. Proverbs 10. It says sweatless work. Yes. That's, that's where we're going. Sweatless work. You know what he said in verse 22? The blessing of the Lord. Mm. Now, the blessing of the Lord make it rich, and he added no sorrow with it. Mm. What is he talking about? Go back to Genesis 1 and verse 28. He talk about it. He, and he said, and God bless them. That's right. What, what's the blessing? The blessing is an endowment. The blessing is an empowerment. Yes, Lord. It's now giving you and I the ability to produce something. Giving you the, and I the ability so that we can occupy until Father come. Well, can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. So we have the blessing on our lives. And it's working. The blessing of the Lord brings true riches. And he had no sorrow. None. That word sorrow there is render us toil. You, you, working to the point of fatigue. Working to the point where you're so stressed out where you can't sleep or not. No, that's not going to be your portion anymore. No. Glory to God. You're yes. going to sleep well. Your, your rest is going to be so restful. Yes. Oh, can you say amen? amen. Because you're not, you're working yes. at another level. Yes. Not at a sorrowful level. No, you're working at a joyful level. 
Oh, can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So now you and I can work without sweat. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he talked about it over there in Genesis chapter 3. He said, because the man, let's, let's go there real quick. Genesis chapter 3. Let's see what, what, what happened here. How did we drop down to the level of now working with by sweat and, and fatigue and, and sorrow? Yes. Genesis chapter 3. Let's see how they get there. Look at verse number 17. Verse number 17, please. Chapter 3, verse number 17 of Genesis. It said this, And unto Adam he said, God said, the Father said unto Adam, Because thou hast hearken unto the voice of thy wife, thou hast eaten and have eaten up the, the tree which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, Cursed is the ground for thy sake. Watch it. And in sorrow shalt thou, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Amen. Now that was the judgment that pronounced upon Adam when, when he sinned. But remember we said last week, Jesus brought the sweatless work back. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus broke the sweat. Let's work back. Yes. So we can work without sweat. Yes. But what I want to point out to us in this, let's, let's just look at this really good. And let's look at verse number 12 in the same text we read. Look at verse number 12. And the man said, watch this, the woman whom thou gavest to me, excuse me, to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Listen, they're playing the blame okay. game. Mm -hmm. Adam is saying the woman. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at verse 13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, What is now? The serpent. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? The serpent beguiled me. Huh? She said, the serpent beguiled me. And I did eat. I did eat. But watch it. I have something here for you, man. There is plenty of blame to pass around. But you should refuse to participate mm. in that. Mm. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. There's plenty to pass around. Oh, my mama didn't raise me right. Mm. Oh, you listen to me. Yeah. Oh, oh, my papa run off with my mama. Mm. Oh, big mama didn't tell me that I need to do the right thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, big mama. Come on. There's plenty of blame. I, but I, I, I refuse. Come on, say that with me. I refuse to participate in the blame game. Amen. I refuse. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to make, come on, say, I'm going to make a quality. This is my father gave me to, to, to give us now. He said, he said, I'm going to make a quality decision. That the book stop with me. Mm. Oh, God. Don't let me show up by myself, God. Oh, God. Yes, yes. The book stop with me. Jesus. So that I'm not oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not putting this on. No, it stopped with me. Yes. Let, 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 let me give you some more when he gave me. What is forgiving this to, to give us? The box stuck with me. It stuck with me. Mm -hmm. That means that I am. <laughs> okay, okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. It stuck Lord. with me. Yes, Lord. I'm not going to blame the government. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to blame my, my supervisor. I'm not going to blame the school system. Come on now. I'm saying the box stuck with me. And I now have something to say about my situation. Yes, I've got something to do about my situation. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the difference. Come on, say, I am the difference I maker. Am the difference. I am the difference maker. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm not even going to blame myself. <laughs> oh, that's a good one right there. Oh, oh I messed up so bad. Oh, oh, well, oh boy. I, I just keep, I bumped my toe once, I bumped my toe twice, I, I, I fell down three times. I fell, no, no, I'm not even going to blame. Quit that. I'm not even going to blame myself anymore. I'm going to pick up myself and I'm going to say, self, listen here. Mm. God loves you. That's yes. right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, Jesus brought yes. back the sweatless word. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to work. Yes. And I'm going to work the gifts that he gave me. I'm going to work the talents that he gave me. Come on, somebody. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Glory to God. And the last part we want to look at together here is be fruitful. Oh. Be fruitful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be fruitful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be fruitful. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. I like this thing because it speaks of a commitment. It, 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 it speaks of you and I yes. committing to something. Mm -hmm. Giving your word to something. Yes. And knowing that your word means something. Thank you, Jesus. It's like our first first part of the year. She said, I'll be back. I'll be here soon. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Thank she was. She was. Thank you, Thank you, Hallelujah. Yes. And then she brings yes. her the, the, the family. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because it's just good. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Your word means something. You can come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where fruitfulness starts. Yes, yes, yes. You say, why, Pastor? Because you, you, you cannot plant a tree and keep uprooting it. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow that one. You plant it to death, then you pull it out, and you plant it away, and you pull it out. No, no. Put the plant the tree and let the roots go down. Yes. Come on, let, let the roots go down. Because how many of us know if there is not a root system, there can be no fruit system, and then you cannot sustain yourself because you need the fruit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to be fruitful. Yes. Hallelujah. Now you said, Pastor, give us the evidence of that. Let, let me go, 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 go with me, Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28. Let's get some evidence. Come on, say evidence. Evidence. Glory to God. Yes. Evidence that is in this You can dispute it. The evidence from the Word of God. Yes. Indisputable evidence. Or can you say amen? Amen. All right. Proverbs 28. Look at that real quick. Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28. Glory to God. Now look at verse number 20. Verse number 20. Hallelujah. Proverbs 28. Chapter 28. Number 20. Hallelujah. You ready to shout? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. A faithful man. This, this man is talking about. This is talking about male and female. A faithful man shall abound. With blessings. Amen. But he that make it haste to be rich shall be innocent. A faithful, look at the five, a faithful, right minded, when we're talking about the thoughts, the thoughts, everything that we do, everything follows our thoughts. In other words, our thoughts is what is the command center. Mm -hmm. So if the mind is right, I'm going to think right. Yes. If I think right, mm -hmm. I'm going to do right. Yeah, amen. Yes. 
and then I'm going to get right results. Oh, can you say amen? amen? So he said now, he said, a faithful, right-minded, yes. and that right-mindedness is the Christ-mindedness. Because when you come, when you get born again, Ooh. you you lose your mind and you get the mind of Christ. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You get the mind of Christ. So just that's how now you can think on the level of God. Amen. Now you can think on the level of the Father. Okay, you say amen. 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 So the right-minded man or person will abound. With blessings. Yes. With blessings. Abound. You're always growing. Always, always flourishing. Yes. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Now look at what this. Let's go over to Luke and look up over this guy. Certainly, he wasn't in his right mind. Look at what he look 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 nineteen. Come on, let's go over there real quick. Glory to God. Amen. Luke nineteen. Let's go over to God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at it now. Hallelujah. Verse 12. And he said, Therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive of himself a kingdom and to return. Receive of himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered unto them. Ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Mm. Occupy till I come. And that's what we're talking about. But his citizens hated him and sent message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And it came to pass that when he was returned and having received the kingdom then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained yes. by trading watch this now and the first saying Lord thy pound and I gained ten pounds Huh? Now the first that I gained 10 pounds. All right. Now what he said to him. He, he said, likewise. He said, I gained 10 pounds. Glory to God. Verse 17. And he said unto him, well done, good and faithful. Well done, excuse me, good servant. Because thou hast been faithful. Come on, underline the word faithful. In a, in a very, well, little have thou authority over ten? Mm. Hallelujah. You see what we're talking about? Grow where you're planted. Mm -hmm. You can bear fruit. Once again, we talk about that root system. Mm. Yes. Produce the fruit system. Yes. This man was faithful. Now he has authority over ten cities. Yes. Now he has authority. He has charge over much more because he grew where he was planted. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now let's look at what he said to the other one. Glory to God. Verse 18. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound, and I gained five pounds. Yes. Come on, say double. God is in the business of giving you double for your trouble. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no amount of trouble that you cannot you can get yourself in that is not going to double. He's going to double whatever the enemy does. Mm -hmm. God is going to outdo that to the double. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. There's no amount of scars. There's no amount of of, of whatever he puts on you. Mm -hmm. God is going to double what he did. In the positive. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. 
You're going to make it so where your past has been erased tenfold. Mm. That's how, that's how, you're not even going to remember those scars. You're not even going to remember those negative, those bad roads behind you. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the second received. Now watch this now. And another came saying, Lord, here is the power which I have kept laid up in a napkin. So this one did decide that he's not going to do anything. He decided he's not going to do anything with what he got. Mm -hmm. He said, here is what you gave me. I'm giving it back to you. Hallelujah. Just as you gave it to me. Hallelujah. But God is in the business. Remember, the first command, he has to change it. Mm -hmm. He still wants us to be fruitful. He still wants us to multiply. Yes. He still wants us to replenish and to subdue. Whatever get out of control, we bring it back into. Amen. Hallelujah. Before, bring it back into control. Whatever get out of line. But here is this man. Put his gift, fold it up in a napkin and say, here, that's how you give it to me. I'm giving it back to you. Amen. Now watch what the Lord responds to him. Hallelujah. For I, watch this, watch this. For I fear thee, mm. because thou art a, a austere. In other words, a austere man, thou takest up that which thou layest not down, and reapest that which didst not so. Mm. So now he is in essence telling off the nobleman. He's telling off the king. Mm -hmm. But Kings think differently. And so you and I being, being children of the king, we got to develop now that mindset, that thinking like a king. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the king was expecting him to occupy, was expecting him now to work on what he got. He said he gave it back to him and in essence telling him that he was a, a wicked man mm. reaping where he didn't sow. Jesus. Watch it, aren't you know? And he said unto him, watch it, out of thy own mouth will I judge thee. Mm. Thou wicked servant, thou knowest that I was an, an, a wicked man, a master man, takest up that which I lay not down and reaping that I did not sow. Mm. Verse 23 said, Wherefore then gave us not that my money into the bank, that I might come, and that my coming I might have required my own with use. In other words, you would have gained interest. Hallelujah. You would have gained some interest. No, so he's telling him, look, you, you, you're, 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 a, you're a wicked man. Mm. You. Now, look what he said to him. And he said unto him, thou shouldest take. And, said, and, and he said unto to, to them that stood by, take from him mm. the pound and gave, what you, give it to him that had ten pounds. Yes, amen. So he took it from him and gave it to those who have. So to those who of us who have, more will be given. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. More will be given. Why? Because we desire to occupy. We desire to work and that which he gave us. Yes. So this man was not faithful. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. He was not trustworthy. <clears throat> he was worthy of the trust. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. He was worthy of the trust. Jesus. Because the, 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 the Father is faithful. Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the Father is faithful. 
Go, go with me to, to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, number 9. You're there? Ready? Read. God is faithful by whom he were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God is what? Faithful. Thank you. He's faithful. Yes, he is. And he expected us to remain faithful to him. Now, yes, Lord. even when we are unfaithful, God still remains faithful. Yes. Let's just look at one more before we go. Jesus. I'll look at one more in there. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh, thank you, Father. All right. Look at, look, look at number 10, look at chapter 10 and 13. Of the same Corinthians chapter 10 and 13. Chapter 10, verse number 13. Is this good this morning? Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Look at number 13. Let's read it together. Ready? Read. Let, 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 where did I go? Where did I go? Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. 10 and 13. You're there? Let's read together. Ready? Read. <coughs> There had had no, no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. man. But God, God is faithful, and who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, able but, but will with the, the temptation also make a way to escape, Hallelujah. that you may be able to bear it. Yes, you yes. Amen. God, no temptation, regardless of its source. Mm. Regardless of its source, God already made a way of escape. Hallelujah. Let's just read that in, in Amphor. No temptation, regardless of its source, has overtaken or enticed you that is not common to human experience. Nor is any temptation unusual or beyond human resistance, but God is faithful. Yes. To his word. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is compassionate. He is trustworthy. Yes. And he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability to resist. Mm -hmm. Now, that ability to resist is the same empowerment, the same endowment that he talked about in Genesis 1. Mm -hmm. he, 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 God blessed them. That word blessed them means to empower, to endure. With what? With the ability, with the strength. That's right. Yes. With the ability to resist the temptation. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. What that means, Pastor? It means Satan can no longer lord it over you. And Satan can no longer dominate you. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, can you say amen? amen? Why? Because you now have a resistance. You now have a, a super duper immune, spiritual immune system to push back against anything that he comes with. Oh, can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Woo! Glory to God. Let's look at one more. Second Thessalonians 3 and verse 3. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Chapter 3 and verse 3. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You ready to shout? Yes. But the Lord, let's read it together. Ready? Read. Thessalonians 3, chapter 3, number 3. But the Lord is faithful. Come on. We're talking about be faithful now. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Be Lord. faithful. But the Lord is faithful. Yes. Hmm. Yes, he is. Who will establish you and keep you yes. from evil. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Establish. Yes. Jesus. Establish me. You're planted. Psalm number one, he talked about blessings of man that walketh not 
in the counsel of your God. Oh, glory to God. Now see that in the ways of the sin. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law does he meditate. In, and he shall be like the tree. Come on, somebody. He shall be like the tree. Amen. Planted by the rivers of water. Planted up firmly. Why? Secure. Why? Because he's trustworthy. He, he know that he, he, God is trustworthy. Yes. And now he can rely. He yes. can lean on God's word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God To establish you, to plant you, yes, so that you shall not be moved. Yes, Hallelujah. The storms of life comes to everyone. The storms of life yes, comes to every house. Yes. But I guarantee you, because you have the word of God in you, because you come to this ministry, praise God, and the word of God is planted in you with evidence, you shall not be moved. You shall not be moved. For you're like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Yes. Bringing forth its food in its season. Yes. Hallelujah. And whatsoever you do. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. It's a good place to shout right now. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you do, everything you do shall prosper. Yes, Lord. Everything you do shall prosper. Yes. The Lord establish you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. The Amplified said it this way. But the Lord is faithful. Yes. And he will strengthen you. Yes, he will set you on a firm foundation. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Oh, God. You're on a firm part. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. You're on a firm part. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Firm foundation. Yes. How many of us know oh, that it's not the top of the steeple. It's not the top of the building. It may look good. Mm. But hallelujah. Tell somebody, check the foundation. Check yes. the foundation. Tell somebody, check the foundation. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> check the foundation. Because if the foundation is destroyed, mm. what even the righteous is going to do? Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. But I'm glad. Come on, say, I'm glad. I'm glad. I got a firm foundation. Yes. I'm planted by God. Come on, somebody. I'm planted by God. I have a firm foundation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He will protect and guard you from the evil one. He will protect and guard you everywhere you go. Protection. The angel of the Lord encounter run about them in fear and deliver them. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them. Fear in him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So here's what you're gonna do. Thank you, Jesus. You're gonna dispose every unhealthy commitment. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh glory. Thank you, Lord. You know, so people want to get you to commit to things that are not good. I'm not going to do that anymore. No. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, you're not their, you're not their trash bin. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a solid commitment. I'm going to make a firm commitment. I'm going to make a, 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 a quality decision. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. I'm going to be trustworthy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to be trustworthy. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be trustworthy. The Father is faithful. Yes, Hallelujah. He's loyal. He's steadfast. Yes, yes. He's steadfast in his commitment. Oh, yes, steadfast. Hallelujah. Because he's in me. Thank you, Lord. Because he's in me. Hallelujah. I can be steadfast in my commitment. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you can see, if you can say, you can do it. Yes, Lord. You can do it. You can't yes. be faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Now say this with me. Say, my opportunities, my opportunities, opportunities are endless. Are endless. My success, my success are inevitable. Are inevitable. Thank you, Jesus. Success yes. is now your portion. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Success My is portion. now your portion. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name Jesus. of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Opportunities. Lord God. Yes, Lord. Are endless. Mm -hmm. Because you ground. Yes. Your you first Jesus. foundation. Yes, Lord. Notice that's the first thing the builders do when you build it. Every good builder, they build a firm foundation. Yes. And that's what we're doing. We, every part that is coming, we're building a firm foundation of the word within them. Yes. Why? So that you will not be shaken. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your house will be a word house. Yes, Lord. Will not be shaken. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, I have a word house. I have a yes, word house. The word of God. Mm -hmm. So my house is built on the word of God. Yes, Lord. And I shall not be shaken. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm occupying yes, Lord. until he comes. Yes. And be fruitful. Occupy. Hallelujah. Until he comes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If I can say. If I can see yes. my spiritual eyes, Glory to God. I can do it. Yes. Come on. That's what I want you to get. I want you to be able to see it spiritually. See in your minds. See in your thinking. In your spiritual. And say it. You said, say what, Pastor? Say, I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Yes. yes, Lord. Say what, Pastor? I'm the Lord. Is my life and my salvation oh, shall I fear? Yeah. The Lord is the strength of my life. Say what? Say it. Whom shall I fear? When the wicked, yes. even my enemies, come upon me to heat up my flesh. Come on, say. They stumble and they fall. Come on, say. No weapon for against me shall grow. Come on, say. Oh, Let you say it again. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. When you say to take ownership of it, can you say amen? amen. Say glory to God. The word of God Jesus. is working mightily in me. Jesus. It's working mightily in me. Glory it's God. working mightily in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's working mightily in me. Thank you, Lord. What you see of me yesterday is not who I am today. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I'm, hallelujah. I'm, I'm becoming. Yes. I'm always becoming. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So don't try to judge me by yesterday's mm -hmm. progress. Don't judge me by yesterday's progress. Because today I'm brand new. Today I'm doing something new that you've never seen before. Can you say amen? amen. Woo! It's anointed oh, in this place. God. Hallelujah. 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 Occupy until he comes. Glory to God. Praise God. This is the place. This is the place to be. Hallelujah. To work until the Father returns. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We're a mission, an evangelist driven church. Praise God. There's a lot of work around here to do. Amen. Praise God. We're a church that's going to be on the move. Praise God. Mission and evangelist. Hallelujah. Taking oh, the word Lord. for Jesus. Being bold. Hallelujah. Did this help somebody this morning? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory, Hallelujah. Glory to God. So glad yes. we could be in the house today. Praise the Lord. If you're watching me and those of you here at the center, 
You said, Pastor, I heard you. Occupy until he comes. The most valuable thing that you and I could ever do is the things for God. Yes. I got saved at age 17. Amen. To me, this is not a, this is not a career. I'm called to this. Not a career can pay me enough to do this. I'm called to this. Got saved at 17, filled up and baptized with the Holy Ghost. The most valuable thing you and I could ever do is for God. Here's what they used to say to me, and it's still relevant right today. Only what you do for Christ will last. Will last. Still valuable, still relevant today. So challenging you, challenging all of us, so that we may get on the go to tell somebody about Jesus. Bring somebody to church. Those of you I know many of you are oh, far away, but I think we can get here. Get here. Yes. In the building. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Glory to God. Only what you do for Christ will last. You say, Pastor, how do I get there? You're watching, and you have never made a commitment to those, to, to, to the values of God, the purpose of God for your life. Here is an opportunity. Will you allow me to lead you to do that? And those of you, you have made a, made a commitment already, but you, somehow you just fall to the way. And you're, you, 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 you fall down. Mm -hmm. You can get back up. Yes. Here is an opportunity. Will you pray this prayer with me? Renew your vows. And come on back to Father. Let's get on. Never mind about what you do. First service, we have a resurrection. We said Jesus cut you the clutter. He cut you everything and get to the point. Will thou be made whole? Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in the details. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know how many times you fall down. I'm not interested in the details. Oh, glory. Will you mm -hmm. take the challenge to come to Jesus afresh and said, I'm going to work until he comes? No matter what, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be planted in the house of God. As the song said, those who are planted in the house of God will still be bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. Will you be that one this morning? Let me pray. First, let me pray a prayer of commitment. For those that heard all the scripture, I pray that because many of you have given your life to offer. You need to come on back to Father. Let's pray oh, a prayer of commitment. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray a prayer of renewal. Of recommitment, rededication to you and to your service today. Over all the people, I release fresh grace for the people, those in this law, in the worship center, and those who are watching an online church. I release that grace now to be steadfast, oh, immovable, yes. and always abound in the things of God in Jesus' name. Receive that grace. Renew your vows to Father. From this day forward, I decree and declare over you, you will be steadfast. You will be immovable. And you will be trustworthy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now let me pray those of you who have not prayed the prayer of salvation. Watching me, praise God. Let me lead you. Will you pray in this part with me? To Heavenly Father, Amen. and those of us here, let's just pray that with them as well. I come to you, I come to you. just as I am. Yes, yes, yes. You know how I've lived. You know how I live. Forgive me. Forgive I receive your forgiveness. I, receive your forgiveness. I, repent, of sin. I repent of sin. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus take, my life. take my life. Do something with it. I denounce sin. Come on, denounce sin. I denounce Satan. I denounce Satan. And all he stands for. And I now say with my mouth. This is my confession. I belong to you. From this day forward. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
God. If you just pray that prayer, you're not born again. Praise the Lord. Now let's give him a big hand. Let's hear from you. You have the information. Put it up on the screen. You can go to the website. You can go. Uh, uh, there's a phone number. You can reach us. You can text us. You can inbox us. You can email us. Come on. There is no excuse. We want to hear from you. I yes. know that you pray that prayer with me. And those of you who recommit as well, I want to know that too. Yes. So we can we can begin to pray with you, pray for you, and get you some information. Praise God. Uh, uh, starting next month, as we will be receiving our new uh, uh, founding members, we receive them in. We are going to go into uh, some foundation teaching and refresh ourselves in that so we can build a firm foundation in us. So Amen. let's hear from you now. We can add you to that list and uh, we can get on by, uh, we'll be here live in the center with those teachings as well. So, but let's do that. Let's hear from you now. Let me say welcome to the kingdom of God here in our kingdom citizen. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, let me speak blessing uh, over you. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. And yes. we, as we speak blessing over you, we're going to be rejoicing. We like to go out with a shout. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with some of these songs, we we, we, we don't want to get the copyright thing. So we're going to go off the stream with you, but we are going to be shouting here in the, in the center. Praise God for a little bit. Amen. Come and like to God with a shout. Praise God. But let me speak blessing over you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Shalom. Nothing missing and nothing broken in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to call back our first lady here. And we're going to sing unto the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're saying. Yes. Praise God. God bless you to the online church. Come on, first lady. Hallelujah. Sing us out.